The Raptors continue on their record-setting pace as they, they continue to add on to the uh, great start to the season. Now, 10-1 and one on the year are the Toronto Raptors as they take out the Utah Jazz 124-111 in Utah, in Salt Lake City, Utah, on the second half of a back-to-back, -back, having just played the Lakers the day before. Now, coming into the game, guys, um, I, I didn't really know what I was going to see because we didn't have Kawhi Leonard, again. They didn't have Donovan Mitchell. We are on the second half of about back-to-back. -back. They're not uh, high elevation, one-hour time difference from L.A. Uh, but this team is so good. This Raptor team is so good. You, you can't really count them out all the time. We watched that first quarter, though, and a team looks sluggish. I mean, they're making their shots, but defensively, they're having a tough time. Raptors still, though, even with the free throw percentage down the drain, or three-point attempts down the drain, you're still only stuck by one at the end of the first quarter. I think any of us would take it the way that first quarter played out. Uh, the Raptors did not have a single free throw in that first quarter. At the end of the first half, the Raptors had a total of three free throw attempts. They had like something along the lines of like 15 to 20. Big difference there, boys. You telling me that they never they never committed a foul? Yeah, it's hard to believe. But somehow... The Raptors are continuously grinding this thing out. Second quarter, they take it right to the Utah Jazz. Plus 12 in the quarter, 35-23. And guys, what this team is so good at, their defense transitioning into offense. You hold them only 23, you get those fast break opportunities, you score 35 in the quarter. Great job by these guys in this game today. Or even in the second quarter, I mean, then you're up 11 at the half, and that's a great job by this team. So first things first, your free throw percentage is down the. It's terrible because of the or not percentage, the attempts because the referees get the whistle so far up their butt they can't get anything going. But you know what? The Raptors don't worry about that, and they make their threes. That was a problem in yesterday's game. They couldn't make their threes, but they were doing everything else right. Today they weren't getting the free throw line. But they were making their threes count. Today, the Raptors go a total of, uh, where is it here, 13 of 34. So, it, I mean, it drops off a little bit here. But at one point, they were 10 of 19 from three, which, do the math, over 50% from three-point land. I think it was at the half they were at that score. And I'm like, that is incredible. The way they haven't got to the line, they're up by that much. At one point, they're shooting 60-something percent from the field. They end up shooting 58% from the field. But the, the ability to... To, to battle when your calls are not going your way and still finding other ways to get the job done, it's incredible. It's a, To see this team shoot 58%, 38% for three, knock down 13 threes, but you know, they, they had 41, 41 free throw attempts. We had 14. And you won by 13. This team just shows us, it just shows us right there, guys, how, how strong this team really is. Uh, only 21 assists in the game, though. Uh, 10 steals to their 11 steals. 3 blocks to their 4 blocks. Uh, turnovers were an issue early in the game for the Raps, though. I think it was like 10 turnovers at the half. They ended up with only 13. The Raptors took care of the ball in the second half. They got the job done when they needed to. Built that big lead. Lowry... Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't think Siakam actually played that fourth quarter. Look, Lowry only played 20, he didn't even play 30 minutes of work, guys. Only 29 minutes, Siakam played 31, OG 25, JV 22, uh, Van Vliet 28. Your, your top guy is, is Siakam at 31 minutes. Great job by this team. And speaking of Siakam and Kyle Lowry, my co-MVPs in the game are Lowry and Pascal Siakam. Uh, Lowry for the being of 17 points, 7 boards, 10 dimes, another double-double, 5 of 9 shooting, 3 of 7 from 3, 4 of 4 from the line, 2 steals in the game, and a plus 29 on the floor was Kyle Lowry. But then he also go to Pascal Siakam. And in that big second quarter, when this team really made that big push to get that sizable 11-point lead, Siakam was a big part of that. 16 points, 7 boards, 2 dimes, 7 of 11 shooting, 2-2 two two from the line, 2 steals, and a plus 25 on the floor was Pascal. I, I, I just thought he was a remarkable guys today. He's showing all of us. the All the stuff we heard about in the offseason about him taking to the next level and looking like some beast out of there on the floor. We all wanted to see it on the court before we believed that. Well, now we've seen it on the court, and I flippin' well believe it because he is a monster out there. We saw the potential last season. 
But was he going to be able to get it out of his system, you know? And, and, and surely so far early in the season, only 11 games in, but we have seen a big step from Pascal over the last year. And OG Ananobi, guys, he has a great game. He had 17 points in the game, 7 of 13 shooting, 3 of 5 from 3, 2 steals in the game, and plus 7 on the floor. I see, I, I, I thought OG was great. You know, and he struggled in the last game offensively, but defensively, LeBron James didn't get a whole lot going because OG was kind of glued to him a lot, making every shot tough. And guys, you got to look at this team as, as, as this. Kawhi Leonard didn't play today, okay? For the second game in a row. Guys got to come in and fill roles, right? Well, I mean, OG went in there yesterday and did a good job defensively on LeBron when he did take a shot. I think he shot over 50% from the field anyways. So he did a good job there. I think I think the the, 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 the starting unit was a, was a plus 20-something or so. They were all ridiculous. And today, he fires up 17 in Kawhi's absence. And everybody else needs to step up when Kawhi is down. Well, JV had 11-5. and five. Um, Freddie Van Vliet. Had a really good game, 17 points, 5 boards, 6 dimes, 6 of 14 shooting, 2 of 6 from 3, plus 10 while he was out there. He did a great job. Serge Ibaka only played 14 minutes and found a way to foul out, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Because in 14 minutes, he had 17 points, 5 boards, 1 assist, 8 of 8 shooting. This guy doesn't miss. Every shot he's taking now that I feel, oh, it's money. All the time. All the time, and that, that, that last foul when he got fouled, that was ridiculous anyways, but we know the officiating in this league is, is a joke anyways. Um, but he was one of one from three. He was a plus seven on the floor. I loved what I saw from uh, Serge Ibaka. Uh, DeLon Wright had nine. CJ Miles, five points, five boards, and an assist, two of four from the field, one of three from three. Uh, I can't take too much out of that from CJ. Only in 25 minutes of work. Danny Green, guys, only had seven points, but three of five shooting, plus six on the floor. He gives you that defensive prowess. He had two steals and a block as well. That's what Danny Green is going to do for your team. And what we saw in that second and third quarters was this team grab a hold of a lead and just continue to add on. Raptors teams in the past, and we all know it, guys. When they get leads, they kind of sit back a little bit, let that team make that push, and try and counteract that. Sometimes that doesn't work, and they just run right through you, and then you lose. But this team did not take the foot off the gas pedal. And they went right through them. And then he built a 24-point lead in the third quarter. And they're like, all right, Lowry, everybody have a seat. Let the rest of the guys go. And yeah, they drop it to 13. But it's still a victory nonetheless. And it doesn't even matter. Great job by this team to really build that lead and not give in. Even without uh, Kawhi Leonard. It is incredible. Now. Next game for the Toronto Raptors, guys. They take on the Sacramento Kings in Sacramento to wrap up this road trip. They are 6-4 and four on their season. I mean, Sacramento has been a, a down-and-out team for many years. Um, but they've got some good-looking young players now. Darian Fox. Uh, Darren Fox. I don't know why I said Darian. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh, Darren Fox is a great player. Uh, where else we got here? Uh, they, they have Yogi Ferrell now. Uh, Buddy Heald's obviously a great player. They have Shumpert. For all Robert fans remembering him. Uh, they have Bagley, obviously, picked up in the draft this year. They have Willie Cauley-Steen. They have all these young, young players. And they added Zebo, Zach Brandolph, uh, on that team. A good veteran presence for them. They're 6-4 and four on their season. I mean, hey, the Raptors can go in there and play the way they've played over the last couple games. They'll find ways to get jobs done any, any which way. It's incredible to watch this team play day in and day out. Guys, 10-1 and one on the season so far. Guys, I want to hear who you who your MVP is. Also, the Kawhi Leonard situation. What are your guys' takes on that? Him sitting today. Uh, you know, I understand it. I guess it's a back-to-back. -back, and you didn't play him in the first game because of that uh, jammed foot. And what's the point of rushing him into this game, too? Clearly, this team is good enough to take out these, these types of teams. So let him take a break there. And now you have a team who has been playing uh, above their normal, I guess you want to call it. And in the Sacramento Kings, a uh, 10 o'clock tip off there on Wednesday night. Guys, the last late one before we get back to normal. Thank goodness. Um, but I'm pretty sure Kawhi Leonard will be back in action there, guys, on Wednesday night. All right. So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed the game today. Smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below, guys. What'd you think of the video? Who's your MVP? Your thoughts on the Kawhi Leonard spiel? Also, what are your takes on this early season for this team? 10-1 and one to start the year through 11 games. I know it's early, and I know this is not really what we're playing for. We're playing for the playoffs, but 
one game at a time, and this team is continuously showing us how dominant they are. All right, I want to hear what you guys have to say, and uh, Evan and I will talk to you guys sometime this week, podcast edition. Links in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes, guys. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great stuff, and I will talk to you guys Leafs edition tomorrow as the Buds take on the Vegas Golden Knights at home. We're going to take that road momentum from the Pittsburgh game and Fire it into a home game against the Vegas Golden Knights because the Leafs have been terrible at home. But we're going to have to wait and see what happens there tomorrow night with the Buds. And as for the Raptors, guys, like we've been saying, they take on the Sacramento Kings on Wednesday night, 10 o'clock tip-off in Sacramento. Guys, get in your PJs, get your little hot chocolates going, and let's watch some basketball there on Wednesday night as the Raptors look for their, uh, what is it now, four, fifth straight victory? Fourth straight? They look for their uh, uh, f- uh, fifth straight victory and sweep the four game road trip which would be incredible to sweep that west coast trip that'd be incredible and i i I, I, they can do it this team can do it but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens there against very grindy young sacramento kings team like i said guys 10 o'clock tip off in sacramento the raptors look for their fifth straight victory we'll talk to you guys then